This short video will briefly discuss the three types of hard drive cables listed in this objective. We discuss and demonstrate more about these hard drives and cables and connections in other videos within this course. So real quick, three types here. First we have serial ATA, SATA. Some people will call it SATA, some people will call it SATA. Whichever way you go, it's a very common hard drive technology that can work with magnetic base drives or solid state drives. And what we have here is the data cable. This is a seven pin data connection. It also uses a 15 pin power connection, but this is a seven pin data connection. And generally with these SATA cables, what you'll see is you'll have a straight connection on one end and an L or a 90 degree connection on the other end. So this moves the data as much as 300 or 600 megabytes per second. So very common. Now, previous to this, and we're going back a ways, is the integrated drive electronics or IDE connection. These are rare. Chances are you're not going to see much of these, if any. But if you do, it's probably because you have some older drive that you're trying to recover data from, from an older system. Now, this was back in the day, and this was used for a long time, but this was back in the day before everything moved over to serial bit streams, where everything was is now transferred at one bit at a time. Back then, it was parallel technology, meaning 8 bits at a time, or 16, or 32. And with this type of connection, you'd be sending 8 bits at a time in parallel. So one byte of data at a time. This is a IDE ribbon cable. It's a 40-pin ribbon cable. And generally, the, the best speeds you'd get from this would be 133 megahertz. And with an 8-bit connection to a hard drive, that translates to 133 megabytes per second. Now compare that to serial ATA, which could do 300 or 600 megabytes per second. Right? So IDE, you don't see this nearly as much anymore. Uh, it's going to be rare. And generally, these used a 16-bit bus, but one single hard drive would work as an 8-bit bus. And again, 40-pin ribbon cable. You would need some type of adapter to grab the data off of a drive like this, an IDE drive, and the right cabling, or some type of add-on card for a system that has an IDE connection. And third here, we have SCSI. SCSI stands for Small Computer System Interface, and this has been used since the 80s. Originally, this was also a parallel technology, and it was designed to go faster than other technologies such as IDE, but now today, SCSI's kind of moved over to the serial side of things as well, and an example of that is Serial Attached SCSI, or SAS. And today, with SAS, with Serial Attached SCSI, you have different versions. The latest version, uh, as of the recording of this video, came out in 2017, and that is SAS version 4, which could do as much as 22, that's 22.5 gigabits per second. 22.5 gigabits per second. So that's a very fast connection. What do we use this for? SAS, we'll use this for hard drive arrays, RAID systems, network attached storage. If you want really fast connections and you want to store a lot of data and you want it to be really robust, then serial attached SCSI is one version, one way to go. And this is a 32 pin connector. Uh, this is an SFF8484 connector that you'll see sometimes. So those are three types that you need to know for the exam. You've got your SATA, very common for workstations and for laptops. You've got the older IDE, which you'll rarely see. And then you've got SCSI, and one of the types that you will see with servers and RAID arrays and network attached storage is serial attached SCSI, SAS.